Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video here on my channel. Today I want to talk about something exciting and a little scary as well. I saw a video on YouTube where someone have created an AI plugin for Unreal Engine to write game code or blueprints there. Like this he was able to set up simple mechanics there using AI in just a matter of a few seconds. And it really made me think is this the future of game development and should we as developers or artists be worried about that? And as you already know, I run my own game development studio called Neox Entertainment and I am researching and observing the AI market as well since the beginning. And it is obvious how quick everything changed there. I mean in 2022 ChatGPT was released and a few months later we already had the first AI tools which was able to create like short movies and all that stuff. And it's really crazy to see how quick all those things are evolving there. But before we will talk about the possibilities, but also the risks such tools can bring, I would say we dive deeper into what a YouTuber called Kibibyte have created there. So big shout outs to him. Definitely check him out. The links are also in the description there. He actually created a plugin in Unreal Engine where he is now able to just insert a single text prompt with the mechanics he's looking for and then the AI will do the rest and it's generating the code and you're done basically. And yes, till right now I guess this only works for simple functions, simple code basically and you can't create or change code in like complex blueprint structures where you have a lot of child classes or all that stuff basically but it's still impressive I would say and I guess when this is already possible nowadays I would not be surprised if this also would work in the next one or two years and as you already can see in the background it is quite a cool thing to see how the code is getting generated there however you need to yeah, manually structure it or sort it that it looks clean but luckily also for this there is a plugin out there which can support with this topic. However in this video I don't want to go too deep into how this actually works. In one of my last videos one week ago I already talked about the MCP uh, and how you can connect AI with Unreal Engine. This go a little bit deeper into how such automations can uh, yeah, get done. I will also link you that video in the description or you can of course also check out the YouTuber who created this awesome tool. He will in his videos also go deeper into how such things are set up. But in this video, as I already mentioned, I want to give you my opinion on the AI market from a view of a CEO of an own game development studio. We work together with bigger brands and companies, helping them with the first steps in the metaverse or basically to build out virtual shops, concerts and much more. And a big market for us all the time also was the indie developers or smaller teams who need support building out their games. Because a dedicated developer from my team will join and assist their building the games out basically. And we can pick up the project from any stage and can also help with the planning of the game correctly, directly from the beginning. Because also there already many people do many common mistakes we can help them to avoid. So we will just pick up the, the work there and we can also offer a full cycle game development approach if you, for example, don't already have a team in place there which can support, for example, with 3D models and all that stuff. But yeah, how is all this now affecting us or you if you also plan to build your game with Unreal Engine or if you are a developer there yourself? Well, AI is developing so quickly that it became mandatory to keep up to date there of the newest developments because I still think AI in the end is not replacing us but people who are skilled in topics like prompt engineering and also people who are in general up to date about the newest AI tools will drastically like outperform other people who don't use AI and yeah like this yeah other or people who are skilled with AI will replace people who don't care about this, those developments. So if you want to keep up to date there, consider subscribing this channel there. So I will keep you up to date there with the latest developments in this area.
Now you may ask yourself, what do you think about this? It's actually a hard question, since those tools come with big possibilities for indie developers, but also with a bad side we will talk a bit more about now. Maybe let's start with the good side. AI can make it possible that also beginners with a limited time and budget quickly can create their own prototypes of games very quickly to maybe then already start with the marketing and crowdfunding to really turn those like AI created games into something yeah which later also have heart and soul and build it out with the team and all that stuff but those resources are often yeah like limited for such people so I guess that's a great tool to give them those possibilities as well that they can realize their dream of an own first game. And it also can help with like brainstorming or finding ideas if you are maybe not the yeah, like most creative person. But however, those tools also come with a bad side, I would say. And I'm quite sure that in the next years, once those tools get yeah, like fully released and are also more accessible for a wider audience, many freelancers will get much less jobs since they are, their audience might switch to yeah, such AI tools since it's just like cheaper to prompt an AI to create blueprints or to like fix some bugs or something like that. I also think that the market will actually get flooded with cheap produced games which are yeah, not created with heart and soul and will just feel empty since they are made entirely by AI. I mean even AI already got used in games like Call of Duty some weeks or months ago they just created some camos there for weapons and then sold it ex expensively in, in their marketplace there or in their shop and I'm a little bit worried here that there are also bigger studios focus too much on the usage of AI to save costs because those studios would have the budgets there to like spend it in good developers and artists and all that stuff but all in all like cutting those developers out or, or firing them, I guess this can just lead in general to games which don't have any personality at all. And we already, already saw that in other markets that like marketplaces are got flooded with AI generated content there. We had for example the stock market uh, or the stock image industry there basically uh, where the markets, uh, the marketplaces are flooded with AI generated content. Also on ArtStation you already now have a tag you can put in the description there which is like AI generated or made yeah, by a human basically right like to keep track a little bit about what is made by AI and what is made by humans and I guess yeah something like that is a good yeah thing to consider because yeah like AI is flooding everything and in the end I'm maybe also a little bit worried about that this could be a shit spiral basically right like the because AI is getting trained with the data which is in the internet and if the internet is full with AI generated content which is like medium quality or something like that the AI maybe will also get worse and worse again over time so yeah I'm a little bit worried about the general situation there like and yeah at New York's entertainment all in all I believe that games should get created with heart and soul they should come from people with stories to tell and AI is a tool, but we should never let it replace the heart of game development, which is the core team and the creative minds behind it working on it. Especially not in creative areas, as I mentioned, like level design or also when it comes to designing quests and dialogues and all that stuff, basically, which will give the game uh, yeah, heart and, and soul, basically. But yeah, who I am. Definitely let me know your opinion in the description down below and I'm already looking forward there to discuss a little bit with you about your opinion there. But yeah, that's it for this video and if you enjoy these kinds of topics then don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching and let's keep building games that matter. Take care.